I was here last year representing my company, Ubiquity, as the newest Breakout Labs portfolio company. We had just closed about a week before with the Teal Foundation, and I told you about how we were going to use their money to do product development for a greenhouse product, plant trials, and uh, commercial pilot projects. So I'm happy to report that we've met all of our milestones here a year later, and I'm going to share the highlights with you today. My name is Hunter McDaniel. I'm the founder and CEO of Ubiquity, which is short for Ubiquitous Quantum Dots. I have a PhD in material science, and I'm passionate about solving global food and energy problems with novel nanomaterials. And the problem that we're attacking in greenhouses has to do with the light levels. Nearly every other aspect of greenhouse agriculture is dialed in very precisely for the optimal crop yield, the fertilizer, the hydroponics, uh, the CO2 levels. But it's really the light that drives photosynthesis. Plants eat light to make the crops that we eat. Uh, but the light is essentially uh, entirely dependent on the season, uh, the location, and uh, you're stuck with what you have unless you have the, the, uh, can afford to spend money on supplemental lighting like this greenhouse shown above, the, this picture I took in the Netherlands. But that supplemental lighting is outside the reach of the majority of greenhouse operators, um, and so we've come up with a better solution. What we do is use quantum dots, which are tiny particles of semiconductor, vanishingly small little particles, that are very effective at manipulating light. They can convert one color of light into another or change the direction of light with nearly 100% efficiency. We've developed a safer, cheaper, and more reliable kind of quantum dot, and we're using, utilizing this essentially to manipulate sunlight to give a better quality of light for plant growth. This is what the product looks like. We put those little tiny nanoparticles into a polymer film. We have a contract manufacturing partner in Taiwan to make this at scale. That sits above the plants in a greenhouse but below the existing structure and then converts that light into, in this case, an orange glow. This picture here is of my 13-month-old son, Duncan, who's the official uh, spokesman for the product. Uh, but he wanted me to apologize that he can't make it today. He's got a bedtime in about an hour. Um, but he'll be here next year. But we're going to be marketing this product under the UB Grow brand that you've seen here for our logo uh, starting next month. It's a retrofit product, so it's very low barrier to entry in a greenhouse. A grower can try out a section of the greenhouse first and see if they're getting the results that they want. And it also gives us greater pricing power because it's a, a higher value thing um, than you know, just a construction material. Eventually, we do want to be in integrated to the actual structure of the greenhouse, but it's much simpler for us to launch in a retrofit mode initially. We're actually in five commercial greenhouses right now in New Mexico, Colorado, and Oregon. And we have plans to launch uh, next in uh, the Netherlands, Canada, California, and then there's a big market with tomatoes in Spain, and eventually China is the biggest um, market for tomatoes in the world. So we've completed several plant studies on tomatoes and one on cucumber, and I'm happy to report the first commercial pilot for tomatoes produced a 16% weight yield increase over the baseline. So that's weight of tomatoes, which translates obviously into direct dollar value for that farmer. Um, in cucumbers, we saw about a 13% faster from seedling to maturity over the baseline, which also, if you can get more cycles in, translates into a direct economic benefit for that grower. So with our initial launch pricing, this would generate about a two to three year ROI, which is pretty good for a film that would last four to six years. But we wondered if there was another plant, a plant with a little bit more value that we could, uh, we could help enhance the growth of that would generate even more value to the farmer, a faster ROI. Does anyone have any ideas what plant we could possibly look for that might do that? I think someone said tomato, uh, potatoes, but it's not tomato, potatoes. It's actually cannabis. Um, and so in the spirit of the unboxing, we're announcing today that we've completed our first pilot project on commercial cannabis. This happened up in Oregon. Um, I should note this was totally hands off. After we installed the film, we didn't return to that greenhouse. So we weren't um, you know, picking and choosing how we were doing the analysis. This was entirely on the cultivator side. And they reported back a 13.3% weight yield increase in cannabis. Um, which is really a home run. That translates into about a three-month ROI for the grower. And so we're getting a lot of feedback from various directions that we should charge more for the film or think about a, a more innovative business model to capture more of that value. But at that pricing, it's a slam dunk for us, too. It's great margins for us. Um, they by, are required by law in Oregon to actually take samples of that and send it to a testing facility. And the, the laboratory reported back, and so this is totally blind analysis, a 6% increase in the THC content, so it's a more potent product, and about a 15% increase in the terpenes, which is related to the flavor profile. So it's a better quality product and more of it. So really, um, really very compelling value proposition for that uh, cannabis cultivator. 
But the engineers in us wanted to do better. We wanted to find a, another plant that could be even higher value, even more potent ROI than quantum cannabis. Any ideas out there? I think I heard someone say space lettuce, and that is exactly right. <laughs> we just actually announced a contract with NASA to help them grow crops more effectively on long duration space missions. Initially, we are focusing on lettuce, but there's other crops that they have in mind. Um, it's kind of hard to estimate the ROI, um, but we assume that the value of space lettuce would be the cost to shoot it up in a SpaceX rocket, and that produces about a two hour ROI. But unfortunately, the market for space lettuce is, uh, isn't that big yet. Um, maybe eventually if Elon's successful. Growers are super excited about UB Grow. Uh, the first cannabis uh, cultivator pilot up in Oregon, Joshua said that the idea of mimicking late summer sun is what sold him on the product. Merle in Arizona, who led the introduction of Dutch greenhouses in North America, said that this technology is what the industry's been waiting for. And Mark up in Canada, who oversees a 100-acre cucumber greenhouse, said that this could be a game changer for his industry. And actually, he is the largest, that company is the largest cucumber producer in North America. I'm super proud of the team that we've compiled. We have 12 full-time employees. This is a picture from a recent rock climbing uh, trip that we took, team building day, about 30 minutes from our office up in the mountains. We're located in Los Alamos, New Mexico. I was a postdoc at Los Alamos National Laboratory, spun out in 2014. We have six full-time PhDs, uh, including myself, as I mentioned. Matt Bergeron, who's here, is our chief of product. He has a PhD in applied physics. We have ag industry experience, nanomaterial exits, really a rock star team to get the job done. So what's next? Previously, we've raised $1.3 million in equity financing, and over the last year, about $1.4 million in convertible notes. We've also secured about $3 million in grants, but we want to go full speed ahead at this agriculture opportunity uh, with the retrofit product that we're manufacturing today, and we're targeting, obviously, the cannabis market. About three hours north of us is the epicenter of cannabis greenhouses in southern Colorado, and that's our focus. So we're going to dominate that market. In order to get there, we're going to need money for scale-up, marketing, sales, and of course, next generation product development. So we're planning to raise our Series A starting very, relatively soon. If you're interested in participating in that and joining our team, come find me or Matt. We're wearing the orange hoodies. Just stick out like a sore thumb in this crowd. But um, uh, you know, help us help plants make the most of sunlight. Thank you. <laughs>